What is up, gang? We are gonna do a little bit better of a walkthrough this time, and I'm gonna kinda show you what I did uh, on this trip, and I'm gonna go through the repairs, but we're not gonna get super technical in this video. Mostly just a walkthrough and a, and a recap. Stick around, we'll go through it. So all the way through here, we have no problems until we get to Hydro Thunder. Uh, basically the monitor that's in it, I can't remember which, uh, which monitor it is, but it's, it's stuck in the wrong uh, resolution. It's one of those tri-sync monitors. That's common, keeps happening to me. Sometimes I can fix it, sometimes I can't. Usually I end up moving on to another one. Uh, but uh, like I was saying, we have I said this in the last video or two videos ago, we have a whole wall of Hydro Thunders and instead of pulling that out and worrying about that, we're gonna pull this out of the back and they're just gonna put another one in there that I've already fixed. Uh, we had an issue this morning. Actually, I noticed it last night before I took off on this. Uh, this was a cruising world and all of these cruisings will do this. Um, it was resetting, it was bong, reset, bong reset and the five volts was low it was like four seven four eight something like that uh, i bumped it up to just under 5.1 usually i put it at 5.1 or so and that'll keep it going but a lot of these uh these beefier games like this they like to be at 5.1 make sure you know check online before you start frying your games and stuff but i i really just want to either get a new plexi for this or a new monitor in it it's it just looks like hot garbage and it's the first thing you see so we're definitely going to move that somewhere else because i don't i don't like how people see that right away so this is a new one here um it's also one that i had never heard of four players all american football and the game did work it was fine there were some uh, button and joystick issues this has kind of got the uh Cinematronics Baseball World Series little bats. And it's for kicking and I guess for passing too. I didn't play it long enough to figure it out. But the monitor, I don't know if I'll remember or have time. I have some pictures. The whole bottom half of the screen was black. And this is a K7000. So I just changed the flyback and then I went over the trouble spots where there's normally bad caps. And I just spot checked it and changed a few caps. The only thing I don't like about it is I want to bring the green up just a little bit, but I think that's just how this game is. I don't think it's super green. But uh, I don't know if you guys know anything about this game. It's got art and everything. I don't recognize the cab really either, so I'm assuming it's dedicated. NBA Jam still looking good. This is the one that uh, belonged to Billy Mitchell's brother and it was totally dead and I was able to get it going let me stop this for just a second as I was saying this is Billy Mitchell's brother's NBA jam I was able to get this monitor just beautiful in my opinion now it does kind of crap out here and there and the red comes in a little bit high so I need to pull it and change those color transistors on the neck board I do believe but right now it's it's super sharp looking. One of the better monitors. Need to get a Plexi for a Double Dragon. Uh, this thing has eaten like three monitors in the year that I've been working over here. But we finally got it working. Now all of a sudden the player two controls don't want to work. So need a little bit of work on that too. Uh, finally got a knob and I guess that's off center. Yeah, it's probably off center for a reason. Uh, so finally got a knob for Arkanoid. It's able to be played just fine. Um, you could play it before, but it was just this teeny tiny little stick that was on the top. So got that out of the way. Everything here has, has been fine. Shadow Dancer, I put together, uh, let me show you what games we're talking about here. Shadow Dancer, uh, I put together last trip. And 
looks like we got some marquee issues. And everything is good until we get down to here. And I think it's a RAM issue uh, for this graphics. This is rolling thunder, sorry. Give it a second here. It, you can see it down here. I need to point it up too. There we go, so you can see it real bad here. They could be like a, a broken trace or something too. I, I really need to give that. I, I've already pulled the board twice, but I think I just cleaned it and put it back. I don't think I really eyeballed it too much. This is a, an Aladdin's Castle cabinet, Aladdin's Choice. You just have a 60 and one in it and then change the game out depending on uh, what people are asking for. We do not have regular Donkey Kong, so that one's been pretty popular. Centipede still holding up. Really haven't had any problems with that one from day one. Miss Pac-Man was new last trip, even though we do have Miss Pac-Man. And then I built this Turtles in Time last trip. Uh, still need to put a bigger LCD in, but nobody even thinks about it. They just jam out on it. Got the standard Turtles over here. And then this is new for this trip. I think I've shown you guys. Uh, we have World Heroes 2 in here now. So this this game, I'll, I'll go over what I what I had to do to it and see if I think I can just yeah the back side of it. Oh, that's ugly sound. Oh. Here we can get a pretty good look at good picture. So this monitor came out of the spare Defender, the Defender that is four parts. Let's get some light going here. There we go. And so this one, like I was saying, was in Defender and it wasn't bolted to the inside of the cabinet. And let's see if I can show you on this Defender. Yeah, okay. So this Defender, you can see it, the monitor just sits on a shelf. I don't know if this one, okay, this one is bolted in, you can see. The other one was not, did not have a back on it as well. And whenever they shoved it into place, you, you really have to have arcade people move your games because they just don't know. Uh, you never know if these monitors are mounted or not, but they shoved it and the, the tube didn't break, but this neck board got shattered. Um, and there's like one across here. I should watch where I'm touching it. One across here. There's three spots where it was broken. So uh, I had to uh, just work my magic, run some jumper wires and stuff on that. And then threw in some new caps. Like I said, I don't always recap the whole thing on monitors like this that I work on all the time. But I'll spot check them where I know that there's going to be issues. That way I don't make this noise again. Oh, crap. But it turned out pretty good. Real good color. Yeah, after a while, you just kind of know where, our, where the caps are going to be that are going to be bad. And there's no point in checking 40 caps that you know are good every single time. Okay, so we have some issues here. Okay, first let's talk about Batman. Played it the other day. It's new, out to the floor anyway. Um, let's see if I can... I've, I changed the little message that's on here. Turn it off. So far it's working good. We have lethal weapons, like one of its twins. Neat hook. Can't remember which other ones had the uh, little DMDs. Kincaid rocks the whole house. <laughs> I messed up whatever I was doing it. So we got this one that works, this one that works, this one's being a turd bucket. Now I got it all working and I started playing it and then all of a sudden the right flipper wouldn't flip. What did I do with that piece? I just had it sitting here. Oh, here it is, right in front of my face. So the uh, this guy just completely broke off. And this guy let's see if we can, has seen better days. Same with the coil stop, it was just horrid. 
So we need a complete flip, flipper rebuild. I got like a little jury rig thing going on. I'm, I need to put this all back together and see if it'll, if it'll fire. So see if I can get it going for a week or two until I can get parts in. But that's where we are on that. This is my new toy. It's like, it goes up to like uh, eight foot tall, I think. Up here. There's two clamps. I'm talking and holding the phone. I should have used the tripod. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. There we go. Let's see if I can. <laughs> now I'm going to back up so you can see what it. It's freaking ridiculous. It's way too much. I didn't realize it was this big. I thought maybe it would be like the height of a game tops. And I didn't have any idea that it was that big round. But in comparison to my other uh, DeWalt lights, it actually, the batteries last the exact same. So I'm not even gonna complain about it. This is uh, kind of new to the floor. We had it out here originally when we first opened but there was no red and we had a lot of, of uh, glitchiness like this is going on right here. Got that taken care of. And this was just uh, power and I cleaned the board. Actually, I cleaned all the connections. So we kind of had some oxidation on the header pins and the connectors. So once I went over that and cleaned that up, everything popped back up and there was no actual problems with the game. Over here, uh, I forgot about Nicktoons. Nicktoons just has a problem with uh, every once in a while you have to turn the PC on in the back. And it, so I'm, I'm assuming that the uh, 2032 battery on the motherboard is probably getting ready to die or is dying. Not a big deal, I have spares of that. Uh, I don't think we did anything over here. Well, we can go through the games, though. I have the uh, four-player Cats in America. I don't see this cabinet very often. So is there a four-player Captain America and the Avengers, and there's a four-player Avengers? I think that's the same game. This should also be a four-player cabinet, Dungeons & Dragons. There's two or three of these. I actually like those. I think they're pretty good. This has got way too much red. So we need to fix that and go over that. Black Tiger. We got another one here. It's a little too bright. A little blown out. Uh, we have Final Fight. Tekken 3. This was the, the worst monitor in the place when I got here. That, the worst monitor that worked. And I think it's great. Maybe a little bit of the green turned out just because I don't see any on the screen, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it has green. Well, it has to have green because it has white. You have to have all three colors to have white. But yeah, that, that thing, it just turned out great. Marvel versus Capcom, uh, Robocop and the Mario Brothers wide body. And then the oddball bad dudes cabinet, which is that is factory and original. Rampage, another one, great looking monitor. We have heavy barrel. Don't pick a song yet, Robin. And then we got our dual maximum forces, Sp super space force, super cross, macross. <laughs> I don't know that one. Uh, still having trouble with the player on the one side on this one. What? I just don't want the music to play. Copyrighted. I'm almost done. Police trainer. Machine, LA Machine Guns. Uh, Zombie Revenge. This is a game I do not know. Is that what's in here? I guess that's what's in there. And then I'm gonna put a third gun on Buck Hunter in the past three months 
which is fantastic. We have uh, Terminator 2, which still is holding up. The Ocean Hunter in one of these big cabins. We also have uh, a skiing game in another one of these big cabinets that we're gonna bring in. And then over there, ruining our copyright strikes, Afterburner and Guitar Hero. And we got a little bit more straightened out. I don't know why I keep saying a little bit so much. That's driving me crazy. But it is a little bit more organized back here. This one we want to turn into a Legend of Zelda cabinet, but maybe something that's going to be a little bit more playable because you can't play Zelda in an arcade. Um, this one's going to go to the warehouse. This one's going to go back to uh, Joust. So that one's going to stay here. Play Choice is going to stay here. I'm going to try to get the uh, Space Invaders up. There is the Spare Defender, which works. Um, just needed another monitor, and we're going to use that in another location. And uh, Popeye, the monitor crapped out. So, Nate, if you see this, you suck at doing monitors. I'm just kidding, buddy. <clears throat> but I already rebuilt one last trip, so I need to put this in here. My problem is, is I can't get this effing bezel to pop out from down here. It's just wedged. So I need somebody to sit on the other side and like have a moment with me where we both put our hands on there and slide up. Um, we have Operation Wolf and Steel Gunner 2. This is the one that had the pestilence board I was trying to clean on. We're gonna take those to the warehouse. This Namco Crisis Zone had a short, something shorted out in it. So we're gonna bounce that sucker, bounce that buck hunter there. And we have another Crisis Zone that works. I got it going that we're gonna bring over. So, those two are really the only ones that are that are going to be like out soon now we come back into my little area and now instead of all this crap going across here that i'm not going to work on um, we have the um, street fighter the virtual fighter and the donkey kong that are are pretty much just going to go right back out virtual fighter just needs some monitor work uh, the donkey kong jr has a dead monitor and then the Street Fighter 2, I have no idea what's wrong with it. It's kind of incomplete and barely working. I don't know. Nate might have got it com complete now, but it, none of the none of the stuff up here works. A lot of the solenoids quit working. Uh, it's like, you know how things are in a chain. So like, you know, these bulbs here might all be on one one string, and it's just slowly things are just failing all the way down every every chain and i got my little chilling out area over here i'm gonna start putting some stuff up on the shelves and that's about it for this trip i don't think we're gonna gonna see much else being done but I do, I do like the back area much better now. There's going to be some room to work, and uh, I'm happy with that. We have plenty of room at the warehouse, so there's no reason to have all these games, of, all these cabinets that we're not getting right to. Yeah, we also have this uh, Coke machine up here, too, and it keeps cold, and it'll vend, but uh, it's having money issues. So, hey, that's right up our alley. We can get that going. Yeah, the I, I'm not ignoring them. I was just saving it for the end. Had the two um, chicken machines or egg machines. The cooler one, of course, is is the uh, the Flintstones. So I'm hopefully I'm hoping that um, there's enough parts here between the two of them to get this one going. It's not a priority, obviously, but I get to keep the spare guts and stuff from that one. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I always kind of wanted one in my junk. And I show this sometimes, have the uh, the Mario Kitty ride back there. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> but thanks for watching. That's kind of a rundown of what we went through this trip. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Finally got all three up for the time being. That one's still got that weird flipper issue. And won't go into multi-ball, but you can play all three of them at once. <laughs> 
two right here are going to be ground and five volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. So what hang on. Get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.